Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in the last video, we had discussed about the process of formation of steam and we had also seen a graph of temperature versus heat for the same. So in today's video, we are going to discuss a few important terms related to steam. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So first of all, let us discuss various types of steam. Starting with the wet steam, that is, when the steam contains moisture or particles of water in suspension, we call it as wet steam. That is, in other words, I can say that it has not yet completed its process of vaporization. The next is dry saturated steam, that is, when the wet steam is further heated at constant pressure, what happens? With the passage of time, the moisture content in it starts vaporizing and we reach at a particular point where we have 100% steam. That is, I can see that it does not have any moisture content in it. So, this type of steam is called as dry saturated steam. Next is the superheated steam. That is, on further heating the dry saturated steam at constant pressure, its temperature increases. So, this particular type of steam we call it as superheated steam. So, now we know the concept of wet steam, dry saturated steam and superheated steam. But what is the given criteria to determine the given particular sample of steam? So, let us understand the next topic. So, to identify the quality of given sample of steam, we have a concept called dryness fraction. That is, say for example, let us have ms that is the mass of actual dry steam, mw is the mass of water in suspension and let us say m is equals to mass of steam plus mass of water in suspension that is m is the total given quantity of wet steam. It should be noted that dryness fraction is denoted by the symbol small x. For wet steam, x that is dryness fraction is given as the ratio of ms that is mass of steam divided by the sum of mass of water plus mass of steam that is the total net given quantity that is the mass of given steam. The next is the dry saturated steam that is as we had discussed earlier it does not contain any moisture particles in it therefore I can say that mw that is mass of water is equals to 0. So x equals to ms divided by 0 plus ms that is equals to ms by ms that is mass of steam that is equals to 1 therefore the dryness fraction for dry saturated steam is equals to 1. The next important topic is sensible heat. So let us first of all see the definition. That is, it is the amount of heat absorbed by 1 kg of water when heated at constant pressure from a given range of temperature. That is, in the last video, I had shown you the graph of temperature versus heat and I had heated water from room temperature condition that is 32 degree centigrade temperature up to 100 degree centigrade temperature which is the saturation temperature or else I can say that it is the boiling point for water. So, now for this, let us find out the sensible heat that is for 1 kg of water. So, sensible heat of water is equals to mass into specific heat into rise in temperature or we can say that the increase in temperature that is mcp delta t. We know that the cp value that is the specific heat value for water is equals to 4.2 kilojoule per kg kelvin. Therefore, putting all these values that is 1 that is mass of water into 4.2 that is cp value into the temperature difference that is here the temperature values are given in degree centigrade and hence I will convert these values into Kelvin that is 
adding the value of 273 to each of these values that is equals to the highest temperature that is 100 degree centigrade plus 273 minus 32 degree centigrade that is 32 plus 273 so calculating this I get 285.6 kilojoule for this particular range of temperature for water. So the next important term is the latent heat of vaporization which is denoted by the symbol small h n to the base f g. It is defined as the amount of heat absorbed to evaporate 1 kg of water at its boiling point that is the saturation temperature but without change in temperature that is what is the meaning. So particularly in this figure the curve B to C which is heating of water at 100 degree centigrade that is this straight line BC is called the latent heat of vaporization for water at 100 degree centigrade that is the saturation temperature of water. From steam table the value of latent heat of vaporization that is HFG is equal to 2257 kilojoule per kg at atmospheric pressure. Later on I will make a separate video on how to calculate the values of enthalpy from the steam table. The next is the most vital term in the steam formation that is enthalpy or we can say that the total heat of steam. It is defined as the amount of heat absorbed by water during sensible heating plus the heat absorbed during evaporation that is I can write it in the equation form as enthalpy of steam is equals to sensible heat plus latent heat. So in the further part I have told you the values how to calculate these both of these values that is here I will add both these values and this will amount to 2542.6 kilojoule that is I have added the values of sensible heat and latent heat for water at one atmospheric pressure. The next important topic is the degree of superheat that is what I said earlier that is on heating the dry saturated steam at constant pressure we get superheated steam that is this will account to degree of superheat is equals to temperature of superheating condition that is T superheated minus T saturated. So in this curve the region C indicates that is the point C indicates T saturated condition and point D indicates the superheated condition that is T superheated minus T saturated that is this line CD indicates the degree of superheating. So that's all for today's video. In the next part, I shall explain various equations related to types of steam. Till then, like and share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Thank you.